Hey, welcome back, guys. So we are at the sixth part of this series. So in this series, we are uh, in this part, we are going to actually start making a game. So game concept I have write down inside the description of this video. So this is just gonna be an endless run of the cube, and some uh, there are gonna be some barricades which uh, we have to uh, beside them or jump over them. So uh, for started, we are gonna just uh, make a cube movement with uh, controllers. So now I'm just gonna add a cube for this. So just like that, uh, I added a cube by clicking right click and add a cube. So for started, we gonna uh, we don't have to need this box collider because uh, for move, moving any object, always the capsule collider is the best option. I'm just gonna add a capsule collider so you can uh, see here the capsule collider is working. So I'm just gonna increase the height to be something like uh, yeah 1.6 or radius. Again increasing the radius, yeah. I think this might look good. So I'm just gonna add a, again another component called rigid body. So rigid body does is the apply all the physics, uh, physics stuff like gra gravity and drag and all over constraints, all the physics stuff on any object. So we are just gonna add a rigid body, uh, and yeah, we are just gonna make the drag to be one and freeze it rotation on the x, y, and z axis. So because we are not gonna need any rotation for now, if we need it inside the future, we will just check out this. So for now we are not gonna need any kind of rotation. So I'm just gonna uh, freeze this rotation so that cube will smoothly move on uh, any uh, kind of axis. So moving the cube, uh, this is gonna be endless run. So we have to move the cube on a specific direction endlessly. So we don't have to stop it. So I'm just gonna make this drag one and we are gonna explain why the drag is needed. So you have to add another component called constant force. So constant force is just to add a force in, in the specific direction which is constant, always a constant force. So as the mass of the cube is 10 then its weight would be something around 9, 9, okay my mass of the cube is 1, it will weight gonna be 9.8 or something. So I'm just gonna add a force to be 10, I guess 10 could be a best amount. So and that I am just gonna uh, make the drag to be 1 because I am just putting this drag to be 1 if you uh, put this to be 0 then the cube is gonna be constantly accelerating all over so uh, at the info, at some, after some time the sp uh, cube, speed of the cube will be little way, way too much so we don't want to do that so I am just gonna make it to be uh, um, what can you say uh, drag to be 1 ok so now when you hit play this the cube should move on the z axis because we have uh, we are adding the constant force on the z axis okay i have freeze the position but we not gonna freeze the position okay sorry guys i have freezed the position we are not gonna freeze the position we are gonna freeze the rotation so uh, because of that the cube wasn't moving so i'm just gonna freeze the rotation and again hit play so now as you can see the cube has started moving very smoothly on the axis you can adjust the force to be something around uh, whatever you want the force so you can see that the cube has been started moving on the specific axis really smoothly so uh, all we gonna need now is uh, just uh, make a movement to left and right on the x axis because it is moving in the z axis forward so we are gonna uh, have to need a, make a movement to be left and right so uh, to make a movement uh, on the z or x axis we are just gonna need a input manager which is defaultly made by the unity which is you can see inside the edit and project setting you can just have here option called input manager so input manager contains several axes so we are just gonna need a horizontal and vertical axis so the uh, horizontal axis not to vertical axis so hor uh, the horizontal axis is a float which is value varies from minus 1 to 1 so when you hit D on your keyboard or uh, right arrow it the value becomes plus 1 and when you hit A the value become minus 1 so we are just gonna need this to add a force to move this cube on a, along right and left so uh, we are just gonna do it inside the simple script I have prepared a simple script called basic movement and double click it on the to open it inside your code editor so this cube is currently totally empty so we are gonna add a force so we are gonna need a reference for rigid body so I'm just gonna get a reference for rigid body by clicking public rigid body rigid body and this would be the cube body uh, I'm just gonna name it a cube body so you can name whatever you want and I'm just gonna make a public float uh, and this float will be the move 
force yeah uh, we are just going to ch change the values inside the in inspector so for now i'm just going to create a new function called void update and get rid of these two because we are not going to need them uh, so inside the void update we are just going to need the reference for these which we have seen inside the uh, edit and project setting you can see we have the horizontal axis here we are going to need a reference for this so uh, the horizontal axis uh, getting reference uh, input of the horizontal axis is pretty simple you just have to create a float uh, which is you can create right here or you can create right here just uh, I'm just gonna see uh, you by creating here private float you're just gonna need uh, this value gonna change inside the script so we are just not gonna change it inside the inspector so I'm just gonna create it private and uh, this would be the x i'm just gonna name it x because this is a horizontal axis so uh, x is equal to input dot get axis because the project setting uh, input manager it's an axis so the axis is horizontal so now i'm just gonna multiply it with time dot 10 to 9 so that uh, the function would become the time dependent not a frame dependent so uh, this is the horizontal or you can say mm, this is the horizontal force so uh, we are just gonna need a move uh, if you press a D so it uh, the value of this become one and if you press a the value become minus one so we are gonna need this to add a force so like uh, constant force you can add the same force uh, with using of the script uh, but we just gonna need a reference for the rigid body so uh, the cube body is now our rigid body so cube body dot uh, the rigid body contain a function called add force you can check this uh, check these functions on the unit scripting manual uh, available on the internet the function takes the direction for the force and the force amount so add force uh, inside the bracket we are gonna adding some basic component the I don't know I think I just hit save this script so it is taking some time to reload it inside the unity mm. so yeah heading back to unity the cube uh, the transform cube you should uh, make this to be local so on the transform cube have uh, y axis z axis and x axis the x axis is the right direction z axis is the forward direction and the y axis is the upward direction so we are just gonna ne uh, need a reference to be transform dot right to be get uh, movement on the x axis so the direction will be this dot transform because the uh, script is uh, we are going to add the script on the directly on the cube so the uh, transform would be the uh, cube transform so this transform uh, this dot transform dot um, right the direction is the right so the uh, we have specified the direction so now we just have to uh, multiply it with the move force so the move force is just a move force uh, this is not variable so uh we have created a float for that which is x so we are just gonna first multiply it with x and then multiply here which is uh, before time dot delta time we are gonna multiply it with move force so that we can control the force amount here not right here so i'm just gonna complete this statement and hit save by clicking file and say or you can just control s and head back to unity so uh, the script will take its time and you can just see the transform does not contain definition for right because the right is r is small okay i'm just gonna save it and head back to unity so when uh, your script is correct uh, the uh, it could take some time to load it down inside the unity so uh, i'm just gonna add this uh, script to the cube and just like that we have two variables inside this so you can just drag this rigid body and drop inside the cube uh, cube body which is a rigid body and move force will be again 10 or something i think 10 must be fine so now when we hit play so you can see the cube is constantly moving on the z axis but when we okay just a second guys i think this should be 100 i'm just gonna uh, make this to be turn off because we are not gonna need this uh until now because we are not gonna moving it uh, forward because the camera is stable for now so now when you want to uh, move this object i don't know input horizontal is not set up 
okay the uh, we have another error horizontal is not set up because i have just spelling mistake horizontal okay sorry guys i have um, done some spelling mistake here so sorry for that we are just heading back to unity and giving the script to load and now when you hit play you should uh, see that the cube should start moving now again it is saying okay i am done what am i doing guys horizontal sorry guys i am doing so much wrong mistakes for now you can ignore this because i am focusing on the video for currently sorry for this mistakes okay uh, if you can know that if everything is right then it will take some time to load so now when you hit play i think this time it should work yeah mm, when you hit play the cube should fall down and still no movement i don't know why i think this force is too much yes okay yeah just like that you can see the cube moving like uh, when i press d the cube move on the uh, on the right i think this force is too much i think it should be 500 and now you can see the uh, cube is moving on right and then again left and just like that and now when you hit this constant force the cube will move uh, move on the forward and you can just control it uh, just like that right and left so just like that you are uh, we have prepared the what can you say prepare the basic movement script for this script so uh, for this cube so we are just gonna make a jump button uh, for this we are not gonna need this constant force for now if we want to jump this script we are just gonna add the force upon the y-axis so which uh, the force would be on the y-axis and we are just gonna need a direction for that so again we are gonna uh, if and the jump would be if we press any input the input would be space button so input dot get key down and the key would be get key down is a cup uh, you can get any input of key by this method you can just input dot get key down it will happen when you key down and you can play, uh, make it to be up and uh, when you hold a space bar and when you remove it the uh, input will be taken as done so uh, we key code will be space yeah and uh, here or you can just make it to be a variable so i'm just gonna make here uh, public key code and it will be jump button yeah just like that we can make it to be here and the input will be jump button so you can make it variable whenever you want so after pressing this jump button we just have to add a force on the cube body which is add force and the force would be um, yeah i'm just gonna create another public float and which will be jump force yeah jump force is fine so the direction will be uh vector vector 3 dot y vector 3 dot y and this uh, is the direction and uh, the force would be the jump force and we just have to return because we don't have to continuously add this for force uh, every frame otherwise the cube will start moving up and up on the z axis so vector 3 dot y is not gonna work because it's saying uh yeah uh, vector 3 also has value so we are not cannot use this you can just uh, use to be um, okay we just gonna need the define the y axis first which will be transform dot up and uh, you can just uh, hit save and head back to unity so it will take its time to load the script the up is the z axis as i have said before so here we have a key jump button you can select any button you want we just have to uh, button where is the space here is the space so you can add this button so uh, as we have created this jump button now when you hit play uh, i'm just gonna not uh, default any value for this jump force because uh, yeah uh, like if you make it 100 again and now when i hit play space it's not that jumping quite well so i'm gonna make it something 1000 i guess 
it would be a fine value. No, 1000 is way too much. I think 300 should be fine. You gonna need some height as your use or your what purpose you are using it for. You can use it like that. So uh, I think we have done the movement for this cube. Now when we add this constant force and I'm just gonna add this camera uh, to be the children of the cube so that it will be automatic follow the cube movement. So uh, just like that the cube will start now moving on the Z axis you can see that and now uh, when I hit so uh, we have prepared the basic movement for this cube inside this video so we will fix some uh, bugs or some issues we will talk in the next video and fix them in the next video and we will add some barricades so we have a lot to do in the next one video so I think if you like this video just hit that red subscribe button and like button and you can just follow me on the Instagram for any doubts link of that would be in the down below you can just comment down the uh, your doubts below and I will clear the doubts just like that so uh, for till then, bye-bye.